Hello friends, welcome to the Abyssal Raid Guide Series, featuring Kyangil. Kyangil has two difficulties, normal at eye level 1540 and hard at eye level 1580. This raid will provide materials to level up your gear set bonus to 3, and upgrade your ability stone to ancient level for more HP gain. The raid itself is not that heavy in mechanic execution, but all future content from this point on will require more of the player's DPS uptime, ability to dodge normal patterns, and aggro control. If you guys are interested in written guides more, you can check my friends at Mobilytics to see the written detailed version of the guide. They helped me put the special effects in the guide video for me. This video will cover gate 2 out of 4, TN. This gate has a universal mechanic, Eye Light Pool Drop. During the fight, a red, later gold eye icon will appear at a random player's head. If you notice your mana bar, when this timer reaches 0, you will drop a decent sized light pool. This light pool provides additional attack buff on anyone who stands on it, including the boss. But later when the first major mechanic starts at 55 lines, this turns into a lightning field that will stun you if stepped on. This will also turn into a glowing explosion of electric shock past line 33. The goal is to throw away the pools outside. As you can see here, these platforms will get destroyed when Tien reaches 55 lines. It is crucial to place the pools away from the center because place pools will never disappear throughout the whole fight except stage break at 55. So as long as your center is outside the square stage, you're safe to place them. Other than this, Tien has one major mechanic at 55 lines. He will fly away with a dialogue and destroy the said outside areas of the stage. From this point on, fall death is possible so you cannot get knocked out. He will land at 6 o'clock position and start casting lightnings around the whole stage. At this time, there is also a gust of wind going downwards, so it will consistently pull you down. If you get pulled all the way down to the electric field, you will receive near death damage. He will spawn lightning pillars as well. Blue pillar will travel horizontally, bouncing left and right downwards, while a yellow one will come down straight with a safe spot in each wave. You will need to go through 8 waves of yellow lightning pillars, while Tien throws his sword 4 times at a random player. You can identify the target of the sword by the red mark above your head. The dodge timing is as soon as when the mark disappears, or you can also check Tien's throwing animation as well. The best method I suggest is to hold your right mouse click to stand still. When traveling sideways, it is often recommended to travel a little downwards to receive the speed boost from the wind. Getting hit by any of these pillars is going to stun you and it's going to move you downwards because of the gust of wind. But for support, Bard's Guardian Tune can CC immune one hit, while any class with a cleanse or sacred charm can break the stun away. When you see any of your party mates get hit by the lightning, it is crucial to cleanse them right away. You can also use your spacebar to use immunity to go through the lightning pillars. However, saving your spacebar for the sword attack is also important as well. After the mechanic has been finished, the battle continues till the end, while the eye light pool is consistently given to random players. Make sure to place them away from the center as top priority. Next, let's go over the normal patterns and my personal tips. Tien's HP is quite large compared to the other gates, and since player will be away from action due to throwing away the pools, you will feel that DPS is quite lacking against him. It is crucial to understand his patterns in detail to deal DPS efficiently and avoid fall damage after line 55. So I will cover the normal patterns a little bit more on detail. Charge Grab Tien will charge up and stab up to two times to grab a player. You can see the sword glowing red and specific sound effects to identify this pattern. If you get grabbed, he will do a follow-up attack in place by pummeling the grab player side by side. Sometimes, some supports and gunlancer players to get grabbed on purpose after casting all of their skills to force a follow-up attack because this follow-up attack is stationary for a long time for a good DPS opportunity. But I don't quite recommend it so just be aware if someone gets grabbed, it's a longer DPS opportunity. Two slashes then charge grab. This is a variance from the charge grab. He slashes sword twice first, then stabs to grab the player. You can identify this by the unique slash animation and the same voice effects as well. General rule of thumb is not to follow him during this. You will often get grabbed by the stab attack. Grab patterns generally cannot be canceled by taunt unless they are done at the very beginning. Regular two slashes. These slashes are marked red. Usually this is back safe. Some people taunt these type of patterns to keep Tien in place. Slash to shoulder charge. He will smash the ground and shoulder charge to someone else. This pattern is also tauntable. I recommend taunting it before the shoulder charge to keep him in place. Charge the Berserker Fury. Tien will stand still and charge the sword for a very long time. 
Afterwards, he'll teleport behind the initial aggro player and smash the sword. Just remember to save your spacebar and dash away as soon as Tien appears. And if you happen to have Rhapsody skills, it is a good idea to use it when Tien attacks. This pattern is not tauntable, so be careful wasting taunt here. Pizza. Tien stands still and pizza warning signs appear. The explosion is very long, so this is a good DPS pattern. Brandish of slashes. Tien will stand still and start slashing. Later, this can be a follow-up attack of three smashes if people tend to get hit too much. Afterwards, he either sidesteps or teleports to the slashes again. This is a good pattern to DPS on, but you need to watch out that he will often teleport or dash away quickly when the pattern ends. As for taunting, you can wait until this pattern's about to end and then taunt to extend the pattern to keep him still for a longer period of time. 180 degree slash. Tien will charge up and slash at 180 degrees. The warning telegraph is very slow, so it's a great DPS pattern. Whirlwind counter. This is Tien's only counter. He will stand still, put his sword on his back, and glow blue. The timing is very long, but if you miss, he will spin very fast and travel around very quickly. Backflip to blue sword whirlwind. Tien will backflip and spin his sword, and there's a blue effect as well. If he spins it on top of his head, it's a reflect explosion that activates upon stagger. If this is triggered, most of the time it knocks everyone out far enough for fall death. If he spins the blue sword in front of him, you will also see an orange stagger bar. If he attack his front though, all the damage is going to be reflected, so it is important for everyone to identify his pattern first, then stagger him from the back. Most people do make a mistake and die by reflect damage by not identifying either the reflect or the stagger version. Also, for the stagger version, make sure to be aware that he has a follow-up windmill kick when he recovers. A lot of people get hit by this to fall death as well. Sword flip to charge stab. Tien will flip his sword around and get ready for a dashing stab to an aggro player. He is going to be glowing white, and when charge is complete, he will initiate a sword stab to the aggro player. This is a very long pattern as well, but he will charge a great distance to a random player. You can cancel the dash by taunting when he's charging his sword to provide great DPS time. Dash to 270 slash. Tien will dash a little bit and begin to charge up. He will have an outside save explosion to inside save ring explosions. Afterwards, 270 degrees slash will happen. The telegraphs are slow enough, but this 270 attack hurts a lot and is able to knock you off the stage. Memorize this pattern by recognizing the outside safe explosion. Also be aware that you cannot cancel this pattern when he's activating all the follow-up attacks. Air slash to outside safe explosion. Tian will jump up and throw a sword blast at the floor. Then he will land an outside safe, inside safe blast. This may knock you off stage after 55 lines, so you should watch out. Clockwise multiple slashes. Tien will charge up and vertical slash back and forth rotating clockwise. You will have to follow and rotate clockwise slowly to dodge it. This is a long pattern but hard to DPS due to knockups each smash. Supports awakening is recommended here with gun necessary awakening to DPS throughout the whole pattern. Otherwise this will be the number one priority of taunt canceling. Sword throws to jump smash. Tien will throw his sword up to four times in wide effect. Then he will jump out an aggro to explode outside safe. Then inside safe rings. You will need to save your spacebar to spacebar inwards after his initial explosion because if you get hit by this at the later in the fight, you may get knocked off the stage. This is a rare pattern and very hard to dodge. If you happen to see him throwing his swords with a white effect, be wary of the explosion stab. Using Gunlancer's Awakening here for knockback immune is a very good idea as well. Sword Meteor. Tien will fly up high in the air and spawn various swords. There will be gray warning telegraphs. You cannot attack him at this point, so you will need to dodge only. For supports, this is a great time to use your awakening here. Just be aware that if you get hit by this after 55 lines, you're also in danger of fall death. Tien is a humanoid boss and moves quite a lot. Slower classes tend to have a hard time on having good uptime against them. General tip is to make sure you foresight where Tien is going to end up rather than trying to follow him. Taking advantage of his long patterns is crucial for most of your long animation skills. The 270 degree slash pattern, 4 sword throws, and blue whirlwinds should be the most important pattern everyone should be aware about. These patterns tend to have the most deaths in inexperienced parties. For supports, great awakening timings are at the start of 270 slash patterns, clockwise multiple slash, sword meteors, and charge to berserker fury. Other than those specific patterns, you generally want to keep using your awakening to fill up your meters quickly to rotate more attack buffs. For Gunlancers and Destroyers, canceling patterns are a little bit tough because most of Tien's patterns are immune to taunt. My tip is to think about taunting at shoulder charges, stab dashes, 
and clockwise rotating smashes. Tien tends to move great distances on his patterns to make you miss your skill shots. Shoulder Charge emits a specific sound when Tien vertically slashes. Stab Charge has him glowing white while floating in the air. And as for rotating slashes, you can use it at any time to cancel this annoying pattern. Generally, think about extending the pattern to have the boss still a little bit longer, or cancel the large AoE patterns to completely avoid accidental deaths of your teammates. With that being said, this concludes the Gate 2 of Kaengil Abyss Dungeon. Kaengil is not a mechanic intensive raid, but it tests your overall fight capabilities of dodging normal patterns, aggro control, and DPS uptime. I personally think understanding aggro control is the most important skill from this point on. As always, thank you everyone, Bye bye